La Terre devenait un enfer. A classic fairy tale with a princess center stage, but this is far from Cinderella. In Paris, we meet its creator, Swiss educator Francine Pello, whose expertise lies in teaching science to young students in innovative ways. I've always been a very bad student. I was never good at science at school because they showed me formulas and things completely out of context. Then I discovered a college professor who told me about science, who told me stories about science, and I found it absolutely amazing. And suddenly, I saw it as a way of opening up the sciences to children in a meaningful context, with real meaning. When we understand the wonders of nature, of phenomena, we become curious. So it makes us ask, how does it work? On peut devenir curieux. Alors on peut se poser la question, mais comment ça fonctionne? Arrêtez de lui vendre tout ce que vous produisez. Et vous, les gens du royaume, arrêtez d'accéder à ses moindres désirs. Facile à dire. Elle avait une salle de cinéma pour elle toute seule. Elle avait des. At the heart of the story, there is a methodical explanation and clear message about the dangers of pollution, the mechanics of climate change, for example, or the economic crisis. Pour répondre à l'appétit de la princesse. Et pour gagner l'argent promis, ils n'hésitèrent pas à épuiser leur terre. Ils ne la cultivaient même plus pour eux-mêmes. Here, the actress plays the role of a princess in a tale about human greed and its impact on the environment. Pour les énormes troupeaux de bœufs destinés à la fabrication des hamburgers de la princesse. Parents are as captivated as their children and can see the benefits of this imaginative approach to teaching science. If children watch a show like this, they understand better. It's not their teacher who tells something. They'll take it as a game or, or something else, as something more playful than a course with a teacher in a classroom sitting in their chairs. It really says a lot about the environment and pollution. I'm not really a scientist myself, and it's true that it's just a special approach for children, using play that allows them to access knowledge in another way and will ultimately make a different, hopefully more lasting impression on them. We're really sharing something, an artistic moment which at the same time has a real message, a knowledge in the end. Turning science into art, fun and play has been the goal of this project for more than 10 years. The wonders of science revealed through fairy tales.